Hey guys, welcome to Rachel Reads. My name is Rachel and I love to read and write Christian fiction. So for today's video, I'm doing a book haul from December and this is all the books I was either gifted or I bought and I'm so thankful for everyone who gifted me books and um, disclaimer, this is no way to brag. I'm just letting you know some of the books I like and also these will be recommendations because I have read them. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with historical and kind of work through the timeline. It might get a little mixed up, but we're starting with historical. So for the first book, I have Veil of Winter by Melanie Dickerson. It is a YA Christian historical romance, and it is the third book in the Derricotte series. This one is about Gerard, which is um, the younger brother of Edwin, which is the second book. And I really enjoyed this book. I think I gave it three and a half or four stars. So what happens in this book is Elise has to flee her kingdom because her father is trying to force her into marriage and Gerard's sister Delia has a letter from Elise asking for help. So Delia sends Gerard and that's pretty much where the book starts and that's where everything goes. My feelings on this book, it's not my favorite book in the series, it's book two, but this one was really good. It's better than book one. So I'd say it's my second favorite so far. I'm really excited to read Fortress of Snow whenever it comes out. So the next book I have is A Midnight Dance by Joanna Davidson Politano and this is Christian historical romance and it this book is about Ella Blythe who is always dreamed of becoming a ballerina. She is in the lower ranks of the ballet she's in right now and she gets accepted into a new position so she's trying to learn all the moves while also um, uncovering the mystery of her mother and everything that went on there. And it's just really a sweet book and I love all the faith content. And the book is just so quotable and I love Joanna Davidson Politano's writing. I just think it's wonderful and I loved Ella and I love Jack. I just think it's a great story. Um, I'm pretty sure I gave it five stars on Goodreads and I just love it. So the next book I have is A Rumored Fortune, also by Joanna Davidson Politano. And this one is about Tressa Harlow, whose father has just died. She has to go to Trevelyan Castle in England, and she pretty much has to manage the estate and the vineyard that's there. But she's also having to deal with people looking for the treasure that her father supposedly left behind for her and her mother. I really love this book. It was the first book by this author that I've ever read and it really captured my heart and I just love the writing. I love the faith content. I think the romance in it is just so sweet and I want to say I also gave this one five stars on Goodreads. And if you see my little bookmark in it, it's just because I'm rereading a bunch of my favorite books in January. And if you want me to make a reading vlog about that, just comment down below. I'd be super happy to. Hi guys, this is um, Post Video Me. I just finished filming and I forgot to add Until Leaves Fall in Paris by Sarah Sundin. And this is a historical romance. It's Christian fiction and I love this book. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads. I'll have to check. But pretty much the book takes place after, after Lucy quits the ballet. She takes on the bookshop and she's trying to keep it afloat when she meets Paul Aubrey who is supposedly working with the Germans. Um, and that's pretty much the basic synopsis of the book. So, um, thank you for letting me pop in here real quick. Sorry about missing the book. Um, and let's get back to the original video. So for the next book, I actually have a series and this is the Page Alder series by Aaron Mangum. The first book is Page Torn and then it's Page Rewritten and Page Turn. I really love these books. They are so wonderful and I just reread them again and I just think they're so sweet. I love, love Paige. I love the fact that she likes coffee and you know she's close to God and she's trying to make time for him and I, it's just it's not like a normal book series because you're just kind of following the life of someone. I just think it's wonderful and I love the romance. It's so sweet. The the love interest is just a great guy so I highly recommend the Paige Alder series which I gave every book five stars. So the next book is actually also a series and it is the Anomaly Trilogy by Krista McGee. This is um, YA dystopian and it is kind of like a Christian allegory. And if I forgot to mention the Aaron Mangum books are just Christian contemporary books. 
but um, these books are Anomaly, Luminary, and Revolutionary. Um, so pretty much when things start out, um, we kind of see the main character Thali growing up and then it kind of starts when she's starting to learn more things and she has like this emotional breakdown. And the big dystopian idea is that these people were curated to not have emotions, that their DNA was changed so they wouldn't feel. But Thali is different. She's an anomaly. So she can feel things and she can feel the happiness and the sadness. So when Thali has her breakdown, she's taken in deeper to the state and they're trying to experiment and figure things out. And it's super interesting and I really love the plot. So um, now moving on to like fantasy-ish. This next series, while technically speaking, it is fantasy. Part of it also takes place in like present day. So it's better classified as fantasy, but the first book, some of it takes place in present day. And this series is the Heirs of Neverland series by Kara Swanson. The books are Dust and Shadow. And I really love these books. I had heard about it I think I heard about it on Celestia's channel also, and I've also seen um, a few other booktubers wanting to read this book. So when I read it, I really loved it. The first book really just like captivated me, and then the things happening in the second book, it's so good. I just don't want to spoil it for you, but the books are really good. And pretty much what happens is Claire is different from everyone like she has dust that always is falling off of her skin in just a light way and she doesn't know what it is and her brother connor went missing when he was a young child looking for peter pam so she goes to england to supposedly try to find some way to find her brother and it's super interesting and i don't want to spoil anything but it's just so good and i highly recommend reading these books and um this is ya fiction fantasy no so the next series i have is a five book series and that is the four kingdom series by melanie sellier i read this series and i've also read the second series but my library does not carry the third series but i do want to read them eventually but i heard about this on celestia's channel when she was reading some of them so i tried out this book first and i loved it i loved the retelling aspect so i read the rest of the series and then I was gifted these for Christmas and thank you to everyone who has got me books this whole year. I'm very grateful. So pretty much they're all fairy tale retellings. This is the Princess Companion, which is a Princess and the Pea retelling. This is the Princess Fugitive and it's a Little Red Riding Hood retelling. This is the Princess Pact, which is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling. This is the Princess Game, which is a Sleeping Beauty retelling. And this is The Princess Search, which is the Ugly Duckling retelling. Um, I'm just going to use this book because this one is my personal favorite, but I'll talk about all the books. So pretty much the series is set in a fantasy four kingdoms and they all have like little problems and you kind of follow different characters from different countries and it's really interesting. Um, the first book is about Alyssa who stumbles upon this place and um, ends up becoming the companion for two twin sisters. I can't tell you much about book two because it spoils some of book one, but for the rest of the series, it doesn't really do that as much. Little Red Riding Hood retelling about Ava having to run from her own country. Book three is a Rumpelstiltskin retelling about Marie who finds out a huge secret and also meets this boy named Rafe and she ends up leaving the castle for a little bit and going on this crazy adventure and I love this story and I love the light romance and I just love everything about this book. It's my favorite in the series. Book four is The Princess Game which is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty and it's about Celeste whose mind is supposedly asleep but really she's the only one who knows the truth behind it so should they're trying to break the curse while also saving her kingdom and it's super interesting five is the princess search which is a retelling of the ugly duckling and this book is about evie who is trying to help the prince and his sister 
attempt to find someone to marry the prince to while also surveying the kingdom and also warding off the bad guys. So um, I really love this series. If you love if you love fairy tale retellings and you love clean YA fantasy, then I would highly recommend this series. All these books are clean. Um, I think they're wonderful. And there's not much magic in them, if any at all. They're, the only magic there might be is like a fairy godmother and the high king, but there's no big magic and it's not really described. So I just think it's a really sweet series. So the last series I have here is probably my favorite. If you see something, that's my dog. He's interrupting the book call. I'll introduce him. Come here. Say hi to the viewers. This this is my dog. His name's Bentley. Um, if you see something red in his eye, he's fine. I promise you. He's not very social today. He does want a lot of scratches, so he'll be fine. But the last series I have today is probably the one I'm most excited about, and it's <clears throat> probably the most I'm excited about rereading. And it is The Ravenwood Saga by Morgan L. Bussey. I love this series. So I first read one of her other series, and I think it gave it like three stars. And it was pretty good, but this was the one everyone loved, so I was super excited to try this. So these books are Mark of the Raven, Flight of the Raven, and Cry of the Raven. So pretty much all these houses have some sort of power, and they don't know what the power is until they come of age. And Lady Celine, the book starts out with Lady Celine, our main character, coming of age and finding out that her power is dreamwalking meaning her house can enter people's dreams. But unbeknownst to her, they have used this power as an assassination tool and have become assassins. So when the power is placed upon her, she has a choice to either kill someone or she has to rebel. And it's super interesting. Um, the fantasy is definitely heavier in this one than in the other series, but it's kept super clean and the romance is very light and it's a great allegory and I highly recommend it. I love this series so much. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I might do a reading vlog next or I might try to do a TBR. I'm not for sure, but I hope you liked today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.